Hey YouTube, Stimpak here. So this video will pretty well be on selling gold farming gear on the Real Money Auction House. But there are a couple of things I want to point out first. Um, one being that I've pretty well rounded off my gold farming series. I don't plan on doing that anymore. That was just to sort of test things out, show people, you know, how to get gold by trading on the Real Money Auction House, how to get it through farming, um, some good farming spots, the gear you need. Um, and the sort of crazy gear that I managed to accumulate by using these strategies. Um, so now my plan is to sell it on the Real Money Auction House and see what I can get. Um, so now a couple points as to why I want to sell on the Real Money Auction House and not for gold. One being that, as Kriparian mentioned, um, gold inflation is something like 6 to 10% a day. So if you have a hundred million out there, you're losing between six and ten million a day just by holding on to it, um, because of botting, because of of all sorts of reasons. Um, and secondly, because not many people are playing Diablo anymore. If you look at the total number of viewers watching Diablo three on Twitch, it's something like under five thousand now. That used to be twenty thousand, thirty thousand, fifty thousand. If you look at StarCraft two it's maintained its viewers since like day one you know it's always got about you know 15,000 to 50,000 viewers daily Diablo 3 it's just losing interest there's no end game there's no PvP um, all sorts of reasons why people are stopping playing Diablo 3 so between gold inflation and the amount of people you know playing Diablo 3 dropping off drastically I figure it's time just to get rid of all my stuff and you know probably take a break from Diablo 3 until you know the interest picks up again because of some major patch or some major release version update um, that sort of regains people's interest so I put up all my items for pretty well ten dollars US um, and I wanted to see what would happen except for my boots and helm which are you know I think if the other ones can sell for ten million million these can, can sell for a little more so my helm um, so that's like something like a six million dollar emerald in the in there, um, and the helm itself is worth about six million itself. And I put up for a bid of twenty five and a buyout of fifty. Um, and my boots, which I bought for sixteen million, which I think are worth something like thirty million, I put for a bid of one hundred and a buyout of two fifty. So I thought, you know what? We'll see what happens. At these levels, if I can't sell anything, I'll start dropping them down a little bit. So I'll bring my helm down to who knows, like a buyout of 25 as well, as you know, and my boots down to a bid and buyout of 100. And if that doesn't sell, you know, drop it down some more, drop the actual bid down, and and see when I can eventually sell them. All the ones I have for ten dollars, maybe bring them down to eight, until I sell them all. And I want to see, you know, how much money I can get overall for just my gold farming gear. And uh, so far, I've sold my chest armor and my pants for ten dollars each. Um, I sort of say that relaxed when I really shouldn't. You know, this is crazy. I'm selling gold farming gear that has no other stats besides for twenty-five percent um, gold find and seven pickup radius for real dollars. So, like, I'll be able to take that money on my PayPal account and buy coffees for the month or buy beer for a, a cottage weekend um, because I sold a virtual item that has next to no value so I don't know it it's, doesn't make sense to me I as you can see my balance is zero right now because I have no intention on using my money that I worked hard for to buy stuff for a game that if the internet and computers didn't exist you know I would have never gotten in the first place so Anyways, that's sort of what's going on right now. Um, I'll keep you guys posted. Um, I'll probably just release one final video once I've sold all my items for, for dollars, whether it be $2 a piece, if that's what it comes down to. Um, but I'm going to start high, start working my way down. I also want to see if I can sell my gold for anything more than 30, you know, for anything more than 25 cents for 100k, which is the lowest level blizzard will now allow you to sell it for so I have this 400k listed for 30 cents per 100k and I'll continue dropping that until it finally sells I'm just curious to see how much gold will sell for 
Um, I bet there's millions upon millions of gold going for sale right now at two, uh, 25 cents per 100k. So, and the reason why I say that is because um, online you can buy about a million for a dollar. Um, so Blizzard, you know, selling it for, at, you know, forcing us to sell it for double that means that, you know, it's probably just flooded the market with gold at that price. So, anyways, I, I've had my, this gold up for about an hour now and hasn't sold. So I definitely feel like I'm going to have to drop it right down to 25 cents. And at that point, I don't even think it'll sell for in the time period available. So we'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys updated. Um, so this is selling gold farming gear for real money that you can buy real stuff with in the real world. It's a crazy concept, but it's working. It's somebody out there is getting their parents, you know, some 14 year old kids getting their parents to, to, you know, fill their battle net balance with real money and they're buying stupid items. And, uh, if you have any items, start selling them, you know, you'll be happy to have money in your pocket than having a, a gold balance that's losing value drastically every day. All right. See you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.